In this video, we will discuss writing trigonometric ratios. In this problem, it is asking us to determine the trigonometric ratio for sine of c. So if I have sine of c, I first want to indicate which angle I'm dealing with. And since this is talking about angle c, I'm going to mark my angle c on the triangle. Now, if I label my sides, as we always do in order, you first want to label your hypotenuse, which is the 17, the opposite, which is the 15, because it's across from the angle, and our adjacent, which is the remaining side of 8. Now, since it's sine of C, our relationship that we use is so ka toa. So since it's sine of C, we know it's going to be sine of C is the opposite over the hypotenuse. So if I'm writing sine of C, the length of the opposite and this problem is 15, so I'm going to put 15 over the length of the hypotenuse, which is 17. And then, since it's a ratio, we want to check the fraction is simplified. Since I can't simplify the fraction 15 over 17 anymore, my final answer is that sine of C equals 15 over 17. For this problem, it is asking us for cosine of X. So if I rewrite it's cosine of X equals, the angle we're talking about is angle X, so I'm going to mark that on my diagram because it's of X. If I label, I'm first going to label the hypotenuse, which in this case is the 40, the opposite, which is across from the reference angle. So in this case, it's the 32. And then lastly, the adjacent, which in this case would be the 24. So since it's cosine of x, we know the relationship is so ka toa. So since it's this cosine relationship in the middle, I can say that it would be the adjacent over the hypotenuse. So if I write cosine of x equals the adjacent is the 24. So I can put 24 on top over the hypotenuse for the bottom is 40. And now that we've written our ratio, we want to simplify if possible. Now because we have 24 and 40, the biggest number that divides into both of those would be 8. So if I were to divide the top and the bottom by 8, it would give us 3 over 5. So my final answer is cosine of x equals 3 over 5. For this example, it's asking for sine of z, cosine of z, and tangent of z. So all three of these are using z as the reference angle. So if I label the sides, I have the hypotenuse, which in this case is 34, the opposite, which 
which in this case is the 30, and the adjacent, which in this case is the 16. And we know our relationship is Sopatoa. So if I want to write all three ratios, if you have sine of z, we know that sine is the opposite on the top. So if I'm filling in my ratio, the opposite is 30. So I can fill in a 30 on the top. And the hypotenuse is the 34. So it would be 30 over 34. And if I try to simplify that, 30 over 34 would simplify to 15 over 17. For cosine of z, we have our adjacent is on the top, and the adjacent is 16. So I have 16 over the hypotenuse on the bottom, which we already have is 34. So 16 over 34, which now if I go to simplify, would give us 8 over 17. And then lastly, if I want tangent of z, I put the opposite on the top, which in this case is 30 over the adjacent, which in this case is 16. So if I simplify 30 over 16, it would give you a value of 15 over 8.